Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is your host Z and let me introduce our new host Bibi. We're so happy to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm super happy to be here. In this video, me and Bibi will give you a breakdown of a quite confusing and a common type of acne. Right, today, you guessed it, we are going to talk about the fungal acne. From the previous video, it seems like there was a lot of questions about the subject, so today we are going to go a little bit more into details. If you are noticing breakouts on your chest, back and shoulders that are not clearing up, there is a chance you are dealing with a fungal acne, so you might want to stick with us for this couple of minutes. Right, so what is exactly so confusing about this? If you have watched our previous video linked right up here, you probably know by now that the fungal acne, which is Petrosporum folliculitis or Molestigia folliculitis, appear due to the excess yeast in the hair follicle. This is a quite common skin condition which is very often misdiagnosed as a regular acne due to its acne-like appearance. Right, and when it occurs you have a big inflammation and itchy eruptions, which is actually not acne. Right, and it's truly an infection of a hair follicle. Despite the fact that it looks like bacterial acne, it's actually different. It's caused by yeast. And for the record, usually it's kind of normal to have this kind of fungus on your skin. Everybody has that. But once it gets out of control, that's where it can lead to fungal acne. Remember when we talked about the different types of body acne, such as whiteheads, blackheads, postures, and noodles? The main difference of the fungal acne from the normal acne is that it's quite uniform in the size and shape and it appears in clusters. Also, fungal acne can be quite itchy and normal acne is not. Now, should we talk about the causes of the fungal acne? Right, let's go and find out. One of the first causes is actually climate. Yeast actually thrives in humid and hot places, so fungal acne is actually more common during those types of season and those types of environment. And another reason can be antibiotics. A long-term usage of a topical antibiotic such as clindamycin or the oral antibiotics such as doxycycline or minocycline can actually make the fungal acne worse. Exactly, and also hygiene is also a big factor. So just wearing the wrong type of clothes or even keeping your sweaty clothes on after a workout that can be a big contributing factor to fungal acne. Next reason could be skincare products. Did we mention that yeast feeds on oils? So if you're using any skincare or makeup products that contain even the least amount of oil, that could actually trigger fungal acne. Try to avoid oils and fatty acids such as lauric or palmitic acids and the fermented ingredients such as collectomyces when purchasing a skincare product. Another factor that you may not have thought about is actually your diet. Yeast love sugar and carbs, so if your diet is high in those things, then that could be a very big contributing factor to fungal acne. And finally, contact with others. Yeast can be quite contagious, so if you had a bodily contact with someone who has fungal acne, that could be cause of yours. We talked about main causes of the fungal acne. Should we talk about treatments? Right, let's check it out right now. One of our first recommendations would be to use a chemical exfoliant for your skin. Other ingredients that are also considered antifungal are honey, or basically propolis extract, or green tea extract. You may also see difference when you use antifungal creams or attention. Anti-dandruff shampoo as a body wash. An anti-dandruff shampoo for your body? Yes, it sounds strange, but the best antifungal treatment shampoos contain 2% of ketoconazole, also known as anti-dandruff shampoo or Nizirol! Make sure to use it not more than three times a week. You can have it sit on top of your skin for a couple of minutes that will reduce the amount of the natural yeast. Another great product for the fungal acne treatment, we recommend a fan recovery cream. Another one of our recommendations will be to wear natural and breathable materials. The reason is that synthetic materials have a tendency to cause irritation and also an increase in the production of oil, especially on your chest and back. Make sure that any oil that is trapped can be naturally dissipated. And when you exercise, please make sure to remove your wet and sweaty clothes right after. One of our last recommendations is to make sure to visit your dermatologist. The reason is that this can be a condition that is super confusing. And so a one test can get rid of all the frustration and you can start the right treatment for you. Also, checking your acne from time to time can allow you to know if it's bacterial, fungal, or even a mix of both. We hope this video will be helpful to identify the fungal acne, to learn about its causes and the ways to treat it. Right, and thank you so much for having me be a part of it. I will see you guys very soon. It was great to have you here. So if you like this video, 
Give it us a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Right, so what is exactly so confusing about this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Synthetic materials have a tendency to increase irritation and an increase in your oil production, especially in your back. <laughs> <laughs>